La consulta del doctor Escarabajo, dígame. La consulta del doctor Escarabajo. 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 Satisfaction is a tricky word, period. It's not very soulful to be dissatisfied, period, because gratitude is so important for us to try to keep in mind all the time. I think the results are equal to the quality of the work, including how we perform live. Everybody was here in Nashville. We were rehearsing and practicing, writing songs. I had a newborn baby, so those years were okay for us. The only song you know. Yes, I agree with you. At the festivals, you could see so many different kinds of music. Whereas before, it would be genre-centric, I think. People's minds have expanded. Their tastes have expanded. And hopefully, in the best case, I think people's sense of what a musician is has expanded. Because you have to kind of be good. I'm not sure they would find anything different, period. They would, if they listened very closely, they would probably hear the growth in the songwriting. Uh, whether the songs are as exciting or if they're as good, I don't know. But there is definitely evidence of uh, the work being put in and the growth of the band as writers and certainly as singers. Uh, one thing that you would notice from the first record To the most recent is uh, everybody's kind of singing softer. I think that's a hallmark of uh, a long career, being able to sing it, sing everything perfectly and have everything written in the proper key and resonating uh, from a vocal standpoint perfectly. You would unquestionably hear the progress that the guitar playing of Luca Soria has done, of course. He's put in a, a, a lot of work and committed his adult life to being a rock and roll guitar player. He's come a very long way. Uh, we don't have any expectations for the Rose of Aces. That's kind of an old piece of art now. I can probably send you a uh, an advance of our new record, which comes out um, this year or next year and you'll hear the progress that we're talking about again uh, the rose of aces and all of the rest of those albums for me i just want them to kind of be there uh, i desire for them to be uh, administered when i'm dead and gone my, my real only hope is that it, it's not completely uh left in a corner somewhere and and some bill didn't get paid and uh, it's impossible for people to find concerts our live shows um we we uh really don't like to do the acting thing the cause costume thing down here in uh, nashville there's a lot of um performance it's a show you create a show and you go do the show and everybody kind of learns the show and then you go and repeat that show you play by memory 
um, the way that uh, an acting ensemble would. There's a little nuance that she would try to bring to the performance, but more or less, um, you're playing by memory. Uh, that's what's going on in, in rock and roll. There's only very few bands who didn't do this. Um, everybody, the show's too big. I, I opened up for Sheryl Crow, one of the first tours I ever did, 2003, and it was the same show every night. Uh, same jokes. Uh, there's just lighting cues. The band is huge. The production is huge. It's hard to um, do anything else except for just kind of build your show and then go execute it. Um, that is the exact opposite of what we do. Uh, people change every day, every year. They're different every hour. Um, you're growing, hopefully. And so you try to implement that. You have this big uh, spaceship that allows you to go and go around and go convey uh, and express yourself through music, convey your thoughts and, and your, your feelings and your vibes and your energy and your essence through music. And so uh, to cut that off and just go out there and repeat something that was created uh, at another time, that doesn't interest us at all. Um, we improvise all the time. We're not, to, we're not trying to obscure our own music or songs. In fact, we want to sing them as beautifully as possible. But when it comes to musicians playing their instruments, uh, there's a lot of emotion that a band could put forth if they're all trying to do it together. Uh, and then it brings a different context and energy. Uh, if we were going to show up to uh, Malmo or if we're going to show up to somewhere in Spain or Valencia, um, and get in a room with a bunch of strangers. Uh, it's way harder to go play how you feel. You have to be good enough to play how you feel. Um, but the stakes are much higher once we all once we all show up. The audience and the band. The stakes are higher, and of course, the risk is higher, and uh, the risk to fail is much greater. And it's going to be harder for the audience probably to even understand what you're trying to do. Um, but some people will understand you, and those are those are Cordova's people. Yeah, there's crises, man. The uh, conservative governments are terrible always across time. Um, I feel bad for a conservative because a conservative is a coward. He's very, very afraid. He's afraid to think. He's so afraid that he's afraid to think. He can't even think of a more peaceful way. It scares them. So that there will always, of course, be a, 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 a huge portion of the population that, that hasn't thought, that doesn't have the ability to empathize. Um, there's always gonna be that conservatism. Um, and we have to kind of just break it down through music, harmony, togetherness. Um, I believe that's what uh, the best of the artists had their eye on that. Um, I don't think, uh, you know, Guernica was painted uh, for there to be more war. It was painted for there to be less war. And yes, uh, the plan is uh, to keep to keep it rolling. I don't know, uh, you, you know, you, you just go one moment at a time, um, try to enjoy uh, the art life that we've created for ourselves. It's just, um, you know, it's a uh, interesting road to ride. And uh, we're still excited about writing songs and feeling like we've improved our skills so it seems pointless to not go and use them uh, once you've been trying to kind of hone them it's just what it's what you've developed and so it's pointless if a person were uh had mastered the art of i don't know arboring you know trees and you knew everything about it you know what i mean it would be foolish to just throw that away at least write a book or start a company or train people on how to do it you don't people don't often develop um skills and just go leave them at the roadside all right love you oh, 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 oh.
Bienvenidos. Histéricas grabaciones. Cordovas look forward to seeing y'all in Spain. Go check out our music and make sure you stay in touch right here. Mm -hmm.